What's up? My name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can use position sticky in your website right now, okay? So a lot of developers they don't use it because it's not compatible or um, is a little bit confusing. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that and how you can solve that compatibility problem, okay? So my goal is to do something like this. This is just something that I created very quickly. If you scroll down, you can see that the this header right here with like your logo or whatever stays on the top when you scroll and then this um, marketing message here, sign up now, um, stays right there. And then when you scroll, um, they get stuck on this container and you can see that um, they stay there so they don't continue, okay? So that's the goal and uh, it's very easy to do. So I just wanna show you how you can do it, all right? So here I have the same page, but they don't. it doesn't have the sticky element. So let's go ahead and go to the code. And you can see I have here very simple HTML, just normal. Um, I have some CSS already, as you can see here. And if you scroll down, you can see the header element right here, which is the one that we want to make position sticky and then if you scroll down we have a lot of text 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 and then here you can see an aside element with a sign up element and then the sign up message and all that which we want to add the position sticky to that element too okay all right so let's go ahead and i'm gonna go to my css and let's scroll a little bit so first thing we're gonna do with the header very simple, this is my CSS right here. I'm gonna go ahead and say position, sticky, all right? And uh, for Safari, you need to add WebKit. It's a prefix, so um, same thing, position, sticky, all right? And then something important that we need to do is the actual position, which is top zero. So it's gonna stay at the top Save that and let's go back. Let's reload this page. All right, let's scroll. And that's it. So you can see that it's actually, it's that simple. It works just like that. And it will stay inside that parent container. Something very, very important that you need to make sure is that your element, it has a parent, okay? It needs a parent. So this parent works as a room that they cannot get out, okay? So they stay stuck in this room. All right, so the header was very easy. Um, so let's go ahead and do the A side element, this one right here. So let's go to the page and let's take a look at this. So I, this, the, these two columns are, um, are done with Flexbox. So like, let's inspect this element to make sure that we are going to do the right thing here. So this is a sign up element and then there's a, an, an aside element. And the aside element, because it's, it's a flex box element, it will take the whole height of the container, okay? So this is perfect because we do not want, and as you can see, if you scroll down and you go to a side, you can see that it's taking the whole height, which is perfect for us because we want this sign up element to be a sticky element, okay? So it will stay inside this aside parent up and down, but nothing more. And that's it, that's what we want. So let's go to the code. Let's go to the CSS and let's scroll down. Let's see where's the aside. All right, so you can see here, container aside, sign up. So let's do the same thing. Position, sticky, remember the WebKit. Position, sticky, and then top, zero. Let's save that. Let's go back, let's just close this. Let's reload the page, and let's see. All right, so. You can see that it's working, but now we have another problem. Now um, we have, because the header is in is a sticky element, now we have um, this um, header 
above another sticky element. All right, so one thing you can do is if you know the height of this element, you can just put it right there. Go, so let's go back to the CSS and we have top. We can add this, like let's, let's say um, 50 pixels, for example. So let's save that and let's see how it looks now. Let's reel this page. And there you go. Um, it can be a little bit more, it's too close, but you get the idea. Now you have some offset right there. When it becomes sticky, it has some offset. Perfect. So the thing is that if you have um, a height and this height changes for some reason, then you're going to have, you know, maybe it looks weird. Maybe you don't want that to happen. Um, but this is how actually position sticky works. It's that simple and you can see they stay on the on their container, their parent container. Okay. All right. So now this is just only CSS. And now I'm going to introduce you to this awesome library. Let me scroll up. Sorry. It's called sticky bit by Jeff and the awesome people from dollar shave club. Thank you so much for this. Um, this will help you to do the same exact thing, but um, this is more JavaScript. And as you can see the same, this page have um, the sticky position and then take a look at this, how it changed is stuck. Actually, um, we're using some, we're gonna use some JavaScript here to get something like this done. So you can actually change the element when the element, the element is stuck right there. So that's pretty cool. So let's go back to the code. And you can see here that I have um, sticky bits um, dot min dot JS is a very small file that you can download. Um, the link is in the description of this video. Plus I'm going to add a link, a link to my GitHub and you will find all this code. So you can just take it from here if you want to, but make sure you, you go to the sticky bits website and take a look at all the things that you can do. Okay. All right. So we have the sticky bits right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go up here in my file and right here, I'm going to add the script. This is going to be sticky bits. All right. That's it. And then down here, I'm going to add my JavaScript file, which we're going to create some very simple and easy JavaScript. Okay. And this one is the main JS. All right. So I'm going to save this and you can see my file main JS right here is totally empty. We're going to add some, we're going to add some code here. All right. So let's remove all the CSS that we did all this position sticky. Let's remove that from the header to, where is it right here? All right. So we're back to normal. Let me double check that we are back to normal here. Yep. All right. Let's go back to the code. And now I'm going to use sticky bits instead of using just CSS. Okay. And remember, this is going to help you. It's going to be compatible with Internet Explorer and you will have some peace of mind. All right. So let's go to the main JS. And this is very, very easy. So all you have to do is sticky bits. All right. Quote and then coma. And here we're going to have some options if you want some options. All right. So in here, we're going to add the element, which right now, the one that we want is the header. So is header. And then there's something very cool that I like and is the option that they have to change classes when the element is stuck, um, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So let's use use sticky classes. This is true. All right, let's save that and let's go back to the page. Let's reload. Let's scroll down and you can see it's already working. And now let's take a look at something, something very interesting. Let's go to this element. And let's, as you can see, um, they added the inline, the top one, pic, uh, zero pixels position sticky. And then when you scroll down, because I added the use sticky classes true. They are going to add some classes when it's stuck. As you can see here, JS is sticky. 
And when you scroll, scroll, and then it gets stuck there, it says JS is stuck. So this is very helpful because we can change the style based on all those classes that are changing, which we're gonna do right now. So let's go back to the CSS and let's play with that a little bit. Um, so let's go to the header. All right, so header, and um, what was the, it was JS, is sticky that was yeah all right so that is saying like the header with the sticky with the js is sticky class then do this so let's change the background let's say rgba um and let's just put like black which is zero 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 and then some alpha here 0 0.5 or something like that so let's go back, let's see if that works. And there you go. You can see that the background changes when the class is added. All right, and then remove it back. And then we'll just scroll down, it gets removed when it gets stuck. And there you go. Perfect. All right, so let's do the same thing with the sign up element. So let's go back to the code. Let's do sticky bits. All right, same thing. Um, this time is sign up. Oops. All right, so let's go. Uh, I don't want for this one. I don't want you, the classes. I'm 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 gonna use it. If you if you want to, you can add it and play with that. But we need to add some offset for this one. Remember the, um, the issue that we had here, um, that the header is on top of it. So it's kind of the same thing. We need to add some offset here. It's very simple. Um, this is the name of it, sticky bits, sticky offset. And we can do like 50, for example. Let's go back, let's see if that works. Let me close this. All right, and it's not working. Um, there's always a typo, always. Uh, all right, sticky bit, there is you, there you go. Make sure that this one is um, actually sticky bit, sticky offset. I think that's what it is. All right, that's it. I think that's fixed. Let's reload the page. All right, and there you go. It's working just as expected. It's doing the same exact thing we did um, with the CSS. Um, but now the good thing is that we are working with JavaScript, which we can be very flexible now. So let's go back. And one thing I wanna do is like, I don't wanna put a, a number here. I wanna put whatever the height of that element is. So let's go ahead and create a variable here. Const, let's call it header height is equal to, and let's get the document, oops, document query selector right here. And we need the header. All right, and now I wanna get the height of that element, including padding and border, so let's use offset height and that's gonna get that specific number okay it's gonna be the perfect number of that height so let's just copy this variable and instead of the number let's put this variable here so that's gonna be it doesn't matter the height of that header is gonna be that all right so let's save it let's go back let's reload the page let's see perfect and now you can see actually it looks a lot better um, it's working just as expected. And you can see they get stuck right there on that. And then we have here this new element. It can be the footer, it can be whatever you want. Awesome, and that's it. Subscribe if you wanna keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day, bye bye.